Ah! This is why they're so noisy. They're right in front of our house. <laughs> By the way, that's my grandpa in uh, red coat there. So yeah, I don't think they're going to be leaving anytime soon, so I'm absolutely going to have to record while they're doing the construction work here. Boy, you wander all around the floor, don't you? Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Just 10 more floors. And then I am out of the Pit of 100 Trials for now. Oh! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped on it because that's a new enemy, isn't it? Oh, I got another one to tattle anyway, that's okay then. Okay, we've got a Shady Paratroopa there, if I recall. That is their name... Oh, Dark Paratroopa. Oh, the Shady ones are the blue ones. Okay, I'm getting names a little mixed up, that's fine. This is a Dark Paratroopa. It lives in dark, damp places. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It's strong, but otherwise, just like other Paratroopas, it's airborne, so try to ground it first. Uh, I, I couldn't do that without doing a tattle first, because if I did, I would have lost the tattle for it, because it has to be flying in order for me to get the tattle on it. And yeah! Ugh. Aha! A zap tap badge! And oh dear. <laughs> I should probably take it out, because that's uh, Bob Olk there. Not, or I mean Bulky Bottom, excuse me, not really that big of a threat. It's just gonna be there. Yeah, it's gonna do that. And I'll be able to do this. Earth Tremor. <laughs> Which should be able to knock it out with ease. Providing that my timing is right. And just gotta focus. Focus on the moves. Alright, well not the moves, focus on the nodes. There's no moves to be had here, I'm just pressing a button. <laughs> there we go. And that'll take care of it before it decides to go boom. Boop. And I probably should start recovering my stats a little bit, like via sweet treats or something like that. But I gotta do it when there's not all that many enemies around me. Uh, I just want to make sure that I reach floor number uh, 50 without using any items, or I should say using any important items, because I'd really rather not use um, stuff like the uh, Ultra Shroom and the Jam and Jelly for obvious reasons, because they're just such, such good items. Oh no, not the Zombie Pokey. Anything but the Zombie Pokey. Um, here's a tactic that, that you can use in the Pit of 100 Trials here, is use a special move, like say, a Sweet Treat or a Sweet Feast to recover your stats, and then just run from the battle um, after, after you use it, and what'll happen is that you'll be able to start the battle anew. Uh, like, you, it's a teamwork thing, you use Mario to recover stuff, and then you use your partner to run from the battle safely. Oh! I hit a Poison Shroom right at the end there, but that's okay. It's not like it, it lowers your stats or anything like that. Um, so yeah, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to run. Uh, sometimes you can't run away, so this might... Ah! It might fail on you. But it is helpful to an extent. Uh, poison Pokies. I should say it, the, the Mummy Pokies or whatever they are. What, what are their names? I forgot their names. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it was... Poison Pokey, so they aren't zombie or mummy Pokies or anything like that. Uh, I'm in pretty bad shape. <laughs> uh, let's see, what can I... Maybe I should actually run from this battle. Like, try another run here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to be able to do outside of battle is grab the coins that are dropping here. Because this room is large enough to dodge whatever enemy is in this room. And now I can go back into the battle... Um, with semi refresh stats compared to the last turn. You can also do this to recover. Oops, shoot. You can also do this to recover um, star points by just, like, say, appealing and then on the next turn running with your partner. Uh, but yeah. It's entirely up to you if you want to use tactics like that. Um, oh, shoot. I wasn't paying much attention to the enemies that were in this battle because that's a spiky para beetle. Oh, good lord. This is really bad timing. Eh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Gonna start multiplying. Um, maybe I should just... 
take them out, well, take out the majority of their HP with an Earth Tremor rather than trying to run from the battles. I was just doing that mostly to show you um, a technique that you can use to recover your stats gradually. It's sort of kind of cheap, um, especially if you're really, really consistent at running away from battles. But yeah, <laughs> it is indeed a tactic that you can use to recover your stats even at the very deepest floors of the Pit of 100 Trials. Um, that's not an ideal setup. <laughs> eh. Well. Eh. 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 I say. Eh. <laughs> Alright, I'll just yeah take them all like this. Eh. I'm sure I'll make it to floor 50 without using an item, because I still have um, Sweet Feast. Uh, to use along the way, and I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a lot more star points, though. So I guess I am reaching much, much tougher enemies to this point that I'm not just getting one star point per battle. Uh, what floor is this? 42. Oh boy, there's seven more floors of danger! <laughs> uh, oh, this isn't gonna be too bad. Bloop! Just a few embers, I'm sure. Mm. There we go. Oh, what that? Those pokies, they got. They, they have like just the right amount of HP to be annoying. <laughs> and yeah, you see what I'm getting at here. Um, Alright, just take care of the pokey before it multiplies. There we go. There we go. And recover HP. Ah! Oh, I would have appreciated that greatly, but. Alas, it was not meant to be. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait a second. Can I like... Yeah, I can take them both out in the same turn without any special moves here. Because the the bob on there didn't raise its defense yet, so I, I won't have any issue uh, getting past it. See that? Yeah. For some reason I thought it raised its defense already, but all it did was uh, light its fuse for the Big Bang. Alright, so, done. Next floor, go! Yeah, I really... I mean, I have 20 HP, so I'm not in that much danger, but I don't know, I'm still sort of concerned about, like, getting in a lock of sorts or something, you know, that causes me to lose a lot of HP at once without me being able to do anything. It's probably just my paranoia or something, though. Uh, I just don't want to lose at this point in the floor, if that makes sense. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start using flower points like crazy just to make it to the 50th floor without using an item. Okay? Okay. I should say flower points and uh, star points. And after this turn, what I'm gonna do is use Koops' power shell to finish off the remaining pokies. Yes! Alright. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous with all of them flipping around like that. Probably because they're so long, <clears throat> so long, that, um, that when they flip, it looks a lot more prominent compared to other enemies, because, you know, they're flipping, like, a plank rather than, um, a, a small block or something like that. You, know, you get what I'm saying here. Alright. Next floor. Go. We have... What should I do about that? <laughs> uh, Vivian, maybe? Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Oh, only two of them, okay. I was a little worried that there was going to be like an army of them um, at this point in the game, but no, guess not. Alright, so, well, what I can do here with Mario, because I have the um, Spike Stomp badge, is be able to flip it over like that. And then Shade Fist. There we go. That takes care of that. Yeah, it's the stylish move, but that's okay. I am still golden. Flip over. There we go. Repeats. Construction guys. Terrible. <laughs> Wait, I pressed the B button. I swear I pressed the B button. Did I? I could, what? Oh, forget it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it worked out anyway. Alright. 
And going down. Next floor. Just keep going. Can't stop. This is the pit. No save points. Oh god. You could be a problem. <laughs> oh, I need another partner. Please. Uh, preferably Goombella. You. Go down. Oh, no. I just need you to be at the bottom of your swoop in order for me to jump on you. You're dangerous. Ew! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't think that would work too well. I was, I was too apprehensive. Alright. Got a little bit of a jump start on it with that good old fashioned super guard. Um, Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor, definitely. Just uh, get it, get their HP down a bit. Alright. Because I can always recover the star points. I know I'm not being all that conservative, but that's only because I really just want to reach floor 50. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, that'll knock them. It won't knock them out of the sky, I think, but it'll knock down their HP. All right, I'll take care of the one with the fire flower. There we go. Fire flower one, definitely most dangerous. Yeah, feel the power of my super guard. Ah, oh. wish I super guard these up. Oh, dodge it. <laughs> I'll never know if I did the super guard properly on that one. Mwah. I'm going to take care of the ones with the higher HP first, because it doesn't really make much of a difference, other than the, the possibility of me being able to uh, defeat one with a super guard. So, yeah. Yeah, like that. Perfect! Mm. Woo! One star point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I was a little bit early on my sound effect there. Mm, going down. Oh, wait, what floor? Or, I mean, what level are we on, anyway? I wasn't really paying much attention to uh, counting or anything like that. Get out of my way, I want to see the sign. <laughs> uh, 47, okay, so three more to go. Um, how about I swap to Vivian? Because I think Vivian's um, Shade Fist will be... Oh! <laughs> I was going to say the Shade Fist would be the most useful because it has uh, 6 HP worth of damage. Oh, right. The defense. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> well, um... Hmm. How about an Ultra Hammer? That's pretty nice. Okay, so it's H I mean, your HP is down just a little bit. Now I'll be able to Shade Fist it up. Take care of one. And the other one, I will hammer away. I'll pop it like a balloon. <laughs> Woo! And there we go. Woo! And there we go. Two more floors. Two more floors. <laughs> well, technically three, but the third is uh, a rest floor, you know, the item that, I'm, that I came down here for in the first place. Oh, oh, oh. Need something else. Yeah, I'm gonna do Bobbery here. I think Bobbery will be the most useful for a fight. Like, oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Well, what I'm gonna do here is... Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> what is it? Divide and conquer, I guess. Oh, stage hazard. Uh, oh. I didn't think that went through. <laughs> uh, I, I could use a bob on bass, but that's so... So much. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Ah. Oh, maybe I should have super guarded that. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Well, once I knock it out of the sky, then I'll be able to attack it regular, uh, with a regular attack here with the usual, usual bomb. There we go. Landing. Yeah, stylish. Ooh, two star points. <laughs> Exquisite. Okay, let's <laughs> just move on here. Grab all the coins you can along the way. 
You can never do. You can never have too much pocket change. Mm. Oh no! I hammered the wrong way again. Mm. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um, how about this? Mm, last floor. All or nothing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I didn't really think of that. That they're dodgy to explosions. Whoopsie. Well, that's fine. Earth Tremor! <laughs> it's finished off the first 50 floors of the pits. I'll be back here later after I uh, beat the game. <laughs> you know, like a post-game sort of thing. Because the challenge at... I should say the challenge of the pit is... by far harder than anything else in the game, so yeah. That's why I would like to do the rest of the pit post-game. I'll also probably do some, well, maybe I'll do some level grinding um, after I beat the game, or maybe before I beat the game, using some Amazy Daisies back at the Twilight Path or something like that. You know, it's just something to prepare uh, for the tough fights ahead, basically. Alright, so that was it. Floor 49. Here we are, floor 50, and here is what I came down here for. By the way, notice that the environment changed a little bit here. Uh, the strange sack! I can now carry up to 20 items! Yes! Oh, I was waiting for that for so long, because I desperately, desperately was knee in need of need having more items. I mean, having more item space, because I keep getting filled up. And what do you have on this floor, just out of curiosity? Nothing new. Nothing new. Alright, so here we are. Level 50, but I am done. <laughs> I am going back to the entrance. Using this pipe, just plops you right out up here. And it, those pipes that return you at the entrance every 10 floors always lead you up here. By the way, if you try to re-enter um, this pipe from up here, you get rejected. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, if you check the sign, you can see the deepest floor that you reach at this point. And star po I mean, star pieces, 100 out of 100, oh yeah. Uh, record power bounce is 6, it also tells you that, so I guess I got 6 at one moment in time. Alright, and with that, I am going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Save, for the love of God. Save after all of that. Because of the strange sack giving you double item inventory. Yes!